James Davis wants to ask on the same topic, which is this whole business of the fit and proper persons test. So, James, you come in now. Yes, thank you, Chair. Thank you, Secretary of State. In fact, uh, first of all, just in terms of uh, choice for patients uh, in the forthcoming legislation, can you confirm that existing uh, choice that exists for treatment outside of area and inside existing ICSs will be retained? Yes, it's very important. The fundamental split between commissioning and provision of services remains. The goal is that that commissioning will be done as uh, it, it, with more uh, flexibility to be able to spend money according to what improves the local health uh, outcomes rather than in a highly uh, uh, bureaucratic way as now. OK, very good. Thank you. And moving back to the fit and proper persons issue, uh, can you confirm that, that you're considering a reformed UK wide register of persons uh, appropriate to be appointed to boards? Well, we, I, I am willing to, um, I am op open to this. In fact, can I bring in uh, Jason uh, to explain where we're up to? Yep, happy to. Thank you, Secretary of State. So, um, th as you know, the CART review uh, made some recommendations in this area, which NHS England are looking at in the context of the, the people plan. Um, we will uh, be bringing forward an enabling power that will facilitate um, uh, options in this space, but we, we need to wait for the work to be taken forward. Obviously, we heard what um, Simon and Amanda said last week as well uh, in, in this committee. Thank you. So for clarity, Secretary of State, will you have the power to um, appoint or to block a, an individual uh, joining a board? Uh, yes. OK, thank so, you very so much. It will, be a power of, it will be a power of veto where NHS England is responsible for the appointments and a power of veto for, uh, for chairs for the Secretary of State, essentially meaning that there'll be joint appointments. Thank you. And on a completely different topic, if and when the legislation is passed, what are your intentions with regard to rolling out fluoridation in water? Yes, well, I'll turn to Jason again to set out the details of this, but um, there are very clear public health advantages to the fluoridation of water. Uh, this power was devolved to local authorities as part of the 2012 reforms. However, because water courses do not respect local authority boundaries uh, and for all, all sorts of other reasons, um, very little progress was made. Fluoridation of water is something the vast majority of the public uh, support, and it is very, very good for dental health. Um, and we shouldn't be held back by a very small number of people uh, who disagree, given that the clinical evidence is so strong. And so we're proposing to take responsibility back up to the national level where it more appropriately sits. Jason. I think you've covered it all pretty much, Secretary of State. I, I, um, I would just emphasise it's an enabling power, so it gives flexibility. Uh, obviously, there would be consultation and so on uh, in the normal in the normal way. Thank you. So consultation, but the intention, if possible, is to roll it out nationwide. Uh, yes. Thank you very much.